Hi everyone, Leanne here, and I have an adorable image to share with you from Dustin Pike that I colored up, and I'm gonna make a card with it today. There we go. So I'm using that along with Jada Blossom's Tickled Pink, their card mat dies, their border dies, the stitched ovals, and their card layer dies too. And I'm also using Echo Park's um, Summer Fun pad. So this is a 4.25 by 11 inch piece of Paper Tray Ink um, Raspberry Fizz cardstock. So it's Paper Tray Inks. 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches for, to give you a vertical A2 sized card with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. And I cut a piece of basil for um, basil black Swiss dot cardstock that's an eighth of an inch smaller and I'm just going to stick that down using my ATG gun there. And so that image I colored from Dustin Pike, um, it was colored with Copic markers and I cut it out using my brother's scan and cut with a 0.4 border. And all my dies are cut out using, um, using my Gemini machine. So now I've got a piece of paper from that Summer Fun Echo Park pad that's cut out using uh, cut out with the card mat die, and I'm going to stick that down onto this little framed area here. So all my dies today and the stamps are actually um, the sentiment stamp are from uh, Jaded Blossom, and like I said, that flamingo image is from, drawn by Dustin Pike. It's a freebie over on the Passionate Paper Creations and Friends with Rhea Facebook site. So you might want to go check it out if you like to paper craft and you like to share, um, you know, share your designs. We'd love to see them. So now I'm sticking down. This is cut out of the cut with uh, the same card mat or card layer die too. And that's with the same paper pad. So I'm just sticking that down with an ATG, ATG tape again tongue-tied today. Now that is that same um, Swiss dot paper. It kind of gets flattened out though in, a, in the Gemini and I get cut out uh, the border um, from the border dies from Jaded Blossom and I'm just going to line that up with the edge and I should have done this first. I should have stuck my my pattern paper onto the black and then put the border on uh, but you know I wasn't thinking so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to trim off those ends so they line up with the black mat. And I'm just using a pair of EK Success tweezer, or tweezers, scissors to do that. Sorry, guys. So I have joined um, a new design team. I'm still on Jaded Blossom, but I'm also on this um, Passionate Paper Creations and Friends with Rhea. That's a long one. Uh, that's over on Facebook. Uh, it's a private uh, group, but you can join and share your designs with us. And we'd love to see them, like I said. So now I went ahead and I cut out that, that pattern, the yellow pattern paper with that same uh, card layer two dies. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my sentiment just with an acrylic block and VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And it says, um, let's flamingle. And that is from the Jaded Blossom Tickled Pink stamp set. So it's just kind of like a fun little sentiment. And I like, I really like the um, font on it too. It's just kind of fun. So there we go. And that will be my sentiment for my card. So now I've got my stitched oval that was also cut from that same pad. And I'm just going to stick it down to my card uh, little my card little layout here uh, with Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. Just sticking that down. There we go. And then I'm going to figure out where that adorable flamingo is going to end up. Now it was super easy to color and like I said it's a freebie um, over on that paper, uh, I, can't, I can't even say it, Passionate Paper Creations and Friends with Rhea Facebook uh, page and uh, lots of creative people over there and you know, he graciously um, supported us with this adorable little image to color. And it's a freebie over there that you can print out and color it. And we'd love to see what you make with it because it's such a cutie. So now I am using Stampin' Up Dimensionals and I'm going to pop this bird up. So it's adorable. So I'm using the normal sized and then the minis. And I also trimmed a little piece off kind of the, the edge of one of them. And I'm going to stick that down on the neck because I hate when my image gets kind of dented in the mail or it doesn't stay all at the same elevation. It's kind of irritating. So I'm just sticking that all down, cutting them with my um, EK Success uh, scissors because they, they've got a non-stick blade there. 
And now I went ahead and I peeled those all off because I didn't want to show you that on, on you know, during the video or, or would have taken me forever because I never have any nails. So I stuck that down and I was using my EK success, success tweezers reverse tweezers and now I'm going to pop down my sentiment I'm just lining it up with the grid mat just so I can sort of see what's straight and I'm going to pop that down with my ATG tape also just to keep that nice and flat there we go cute stuff eh so I'm going to flip that over and trim off the extra just using those EK success scissors again so there we go so cute stuff so now I've got a piece of uh, Nina um, this is just the, the cheap, the 65 uh, pound bright, I think it's called bright white cardstock, cut at four by five and a quarter inches. Um, as for the image that I colored, I always use Nina solar Sol white cardstock for those ones. So this is just, like I said, a, a piece of cheap 65 pound um, Nina bright white. So that is a strip of that same basil um, Swiss dot black cardstock and I cut it out at one and a quarter inches wide and I'm just going to lay that across the bottom of my card. I'm using the uh, grid mat on that Stampin' Up pad to get things straight and then that flamingo paper is from the same um, summer fun pad from Echo Park and I'm just adding that to the center of it because I thought flamingos are perfect right and I'm going to add that to the center and that is one inch in width and I'll just trim off the overhang with pair of scissors here. So I like to add something to the inside of my cards. It makes things more interesting. There we go. So now I'm going to add uh, my sentiment with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm just quickly rubbing the stamp on my hand. I've got an acrylic block and I'm gonna stamp it. And it says, Birth Bird Day Wishes and Flamingo Kisses. So let's flamingo and then bird day wishes and flamingo kisses. And then these are a couple of flaming flamingos and I'm just gonna add two to the lower right hand corner of this mat. There we go. And then, you know, just for some fun. And that's from that same um, tickled pink stamp set from Jaded Blossom. There we are. So cute stuff so far. There we go. Now I'm going to add some sprinkles. These sprinkles are the Love Assortment from Doodlebug. And I'm gonna add those here and there with my pen blade. And I just wanted to say also that all those colors uh, of Copic colors that I used on this flamingo will be listed on my blog in case you wanna color them the same way that I did. So they'll all be listed. Now I'm just taking a Spectrum Noir Sparkle pen and I'm just adding some sparkle to those bubbles in that drink. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some glossy accents on the little bubbles just for a little bit of fun and um, that's in a little cheap bottle from amazon i transfer them into that just because it has a, pin, a little pin top and makes it easier now i'm using my secure white jelly roll pen just to add a few little highlights here and there just have to think about it. it's like i don't know where i'm going to put these things but um this was an adorable image like i said and um you know since he is a sponsor of that new uh, Facebook site. Um, I'm kind of excited. It'll be fun to color his images. There we are. And I'm just adding a few little highlights. Now I am not a colorist. It takes me forever. This time I did not show you the coloring because I didn't want to have an hour video. <laughs> um, but um, you know, I, I will in the future have some more coloring videos. I just wanted to show you the putting together of the card. And I'm just adding the little highlights and um, that'll be about it, I think. I'm just going to add a couple more little highlights here, and then we'll be done. So how cute is that? I think it turned out great. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to my blog and check out everything that I used. Maybe join that Facebook site that I told you about. And we'll see you soon, everyone. Bye.